దేవి భాగవతం బుక్ సెవెన్ చాప్టర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఆన్ ద స్టోరీ ఆఫ్ ది కింగ్ హరీష్ చంద్ర వ్యాస సెడ్ ఓ కింగ్ వెన్ దేర్ వాజ్ గోయింగ్ వెన్ దేర్ వాజ్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ ఇన్ ద కింగ్స్ ప్యాలెస్ ది గ్రాండ్ ఫెస్టివిటీస్ ఫర్ ద సన్స్ బర్త్ సెరమనీస్ వరుణ దేవ కేమ్ దేర్ ఇన్ ద హోలీ బరాహ్మిన్ ఫారం లెట్ ఫెల్ఫేర్ బీ ఆన్ యూ సేయింగ్ దిస్ వరుణ బిగ్యాన్ టు సే ఓ కింగ్ no me to be varuna now hear what i say o king your son is now born therefore perform sacrifices in honor to me with your son o king your your defect of not having a son is now removed so fulfill what you promised before hearing these words the king began to think oh only one lotus faced son is born to me how can i kill it on the other hand the powerful regent lokapala of one quarter is present in brahmana forum and it never behoves one to show disrespect to a deva or to a man who wishes welfare to us again it is very difficult to root out the affection for a son so what am i to do now how shall i preserve my happiness due to the birth of my son the king then with patience bowed down to him and worshiped him duly and humbly spoke to him in beautiful words pregnant with reason o deva of devas i will obey your order no doubt and i will perform your sacrifice according to the vedic rites and with profuse dakshinas but when in a human when but when in a sacrifice human beings are immor- immolated as victims both the husband and wife are entitled to the ceremony father becomes purified on the 10th day and mother on the expiration of one month after the son's birth so how can i perform the sacrifice until one month expires you are omnipresent and you are omniscient and the master of all beings and you know what is nitya dharma so o varuna deva i want one month time show mercy thus on me vyasa said o king the king harishchandra saying this varuna deva spoke to the king o king welfare be unto you do your duties i am now going back to my place o king i will come again after one month better finish the natal ceremonies and the namakarnam ceremony regularly and then perform my sacrifice o king when varuna turned varuna deva turned his back the king began to feel happiness then the king gave as gifts millions of cows yielding plenty of milk and ornamented with gold and mountains of til sesamum to the brahmins versed in vedas and kept his name with formal ceremony said rohitas rohitasva when one month became complete varuna deva came again in a brahmin forum and frequently said o king start the sacrifice now the king on seeing the god of waters at once fell into an ocean of anxieties and sorrows then he bowed down and worshiping him as a guest spoke to him with folded palms o deva it is to my great fortune that you have landed your feet at my place o lord my house has been sanctified today o deva i will do no doubt your desired sacrifice according to the rites and ceremonies but see the victim that have no not their teeth come as yet are not fit for a sacrifice so the versed pandit pandits say so i have settled i would perform your great sacrifice as desired by you when the teeth will come out of my son vyasa said o lord of men hearing this varuna said let it be so and went away the king harishchandra became glad and passed his days in enjoyment in his household when the teeth of the child got out varuna knew it and came again in the brahmana garb in the palace and spoke o king now commence my sacrifice seeing the brahmin varuna there the king too bowed down and gave him a seat and showing all the respects to him worshiped him he sang hymns to him and very humbly said with his head bent low o deva i will perform your divine sacrifice with plenty of dakshinas according to rites and ceremonies but the child's chudakarana chudakarana the ceremony of a tonsure is not yet done so the hairs that were at the birth are still there and the child cannot be fit for sacrifice as long as those hairs exist so i have heard from the elderly persons o lord of waters you know the shastric rules kindly wait till the tonsure is over when the child will have his head shaven i will certainly perform your sacrifice there is no doubt in this hearing these words varuna spoke to him again o king why are you deceiving me like this so often o king now you have all the materials ready for the sacrifice only for your filial affection you are deceiving me however if after the ceremony of tonsure you do not perform my sacrifice i will be angry and i will curse you o king i am going to the present but i am going for the present but see do not tell lies being born in the family of ikshvaku instantly varuna disappeared 
द किंग टू फेल्ट हिमसेल्फ हैप्पी इन हिज हाउस होल्ड वेन द सेरेमनी ऑफ टॉन्शोर वॉज कमेंस्ड एंड ग्रैंड फेस्टिविटीज वर हेल्ड ऑन द अकेशन वरुणा वेन द सेरेमनी ऑफ टॉन्शोर वॉज कमेंस्ड एंड ग्रैंड फेस्टिविटीज वर हेल्ड ऑन द अकेशन वरुणा केम अगेन टू द किंग्स पैलेस द क्वीन वॉज देन सिटिंग बिफोर द किंग विद द चाइल्ड इन हर लैप वेन वरुणा केम अप देर The Brahmin Varuna then appeared like a flaming fire and spoke to the king in a clear voice, "O king, start the sacrifice." Seeing him, the king was confused with terror and, with folded palms, quickly bowed down to him. After worshiping him duly, he very humbly said, "O Lord, today I will perform your sacrifice, but kindly hear with attention my saying." But kindly hear with attention my saying and and then do what is advisable o lord if you approve of this as reasonable i then open my heart to you the three varnas brahmana kshatriya and vaishya become dvijas only when they are duly performed according to the proper rites and ceremonies without any such purification they are co certainly sudras so the brahmins versed in the vedas declare My child is now an infant only so it is like a sudra when this thread ceremony will be performed he will then be fit for the sacrifice and this the ved shastras declare the kshatriyas are so purified in their 11th year the brahmanas in their 8th year and the vaishyas in their 12th year so o lord of the devas if you feel pity for you if you feel pity for your this humble servant then wait till the upanayana ceremony is over when i will perform your grand sacrifice with my son o bhibhu you are the loka palaka specially you are conversant with all the shastra shastrik rules and have acquired the knowledge of dharma if you think my saying as true then go to your home vyasa said hearing these words varuna's heart was filled with pity and so he left away instantly saying let it be so varuna going away the king felt very glad and the queen knowing the welfare of the son became glad too then the king gladly performed his state duties after some time the child grew 10 years old consulting with the peaceful brahmanas as well as his ministers he collected materials for the upanayana ceremony befitting his position when the 11th year was completed by his son the king arranged everything for the thread ceremony but when his thoughts turned to varuna's sacrifice he became very sad and anxious when the thread ceremony began to be performed the brahmin varuna came there seeing him the king instantly bowed down and standing before him with clasped hands gladly spoke to him o deva my son's upanayanam being over now my son is fit for the victim in the sacrifice and by your grace my sorrow that was within me as not having a son has vanished i speak truly before you that o knower of virtue after some mere time i have desired to perform your sacrifice with plenty of dakshinas in fact when the samavartan ceremony will be over i will do as you like kindly wait till then varuna said o intelligent one you are very much attached to your son now and so by various reasonable place of intellect you are repeatedly deceiving me however i am going home today at your request but no certain that i will come again at the time of samavartan ceremony Samavartan means the return home especially of a pupil from his tutor's house after finishing his course of study there o king thus saying varuna went away and the king became glad and began to perform duly his various duties the prince was very intelligent and as he used to see varuna coming now and then at the time of the ceremonies he became very anxious he then made enquiries outside hither and thither and came to know of his own being about to be killed and he desired to quit the house instantly he then consulted with the minister's son and came to a final conclusion and went out of the city to the forest when the son had gone to the forest the king became very much afflicted with sorrow and sent messengers in quest of him when some time passed again varuna came to his house and spoke to the distressed king o king now perform your desired sacrifice the king bowed down to him and said o deva what shall i do now my son has become afraid and has gone away i do not know where he has gone o deva my messengers have searched for him in different places in mountains in the hermitages of the munis in fact in all the places but they have not been able to find him out 
एनीवेयर माय सन हैज़ लेफ्ट हिज होम और टर्न व्हाट आई कैन डू ओ देवा यू नो एवरीथिंग सो जज आई हैव गॉट नो फॉल्ट इन दिस मैटर इट इज़ सर्टेनली लक एंड नथिंग एल्स व्यासा सेड ओ किंग हियरिंग दिस वर्ड्स ऑफ द किंग वरुणा बिकेम वेरी मच एंग्री वेन ही सो दैट ही वॉज डिसीव्ड सो मेनी टाइम्स बाई द किंग ही देन करस सेंग ओ किंग As you have cheated me by your deceitful words, so you be attacked by dropsy and be severely pained by it. Thus cursed by Varuna, the king was attacked with the disease and began to suffer much. Cursing, thus Varuna went back to his own place, and the king was much afflicted with that terrible disease. Here ends the fifteenth chapter in the seventh book on the story of the king Harishchandra in the. महापुराणम श्रीमद्देवी भागवतम ऑफ 18,000 थाउजेंड वर्सेस बाय महर्षि वेदव्यासा श्रीमात्रे नमः